we are given matrix A as well as matrix A in row echelon form and we're asked to find a basis for the null space of A. To find a basis for the null space of A, we need to solve A times vector x equals a zero vector and the vectors in the spanning set of the solution form a basis for the null space. So notice here we are given only matrix A in row echelon form. If they wanted the augmented matrix for the equation, A times vector x equals a zero vector, we would have to include a fifth column of zeros. And I think I'll go ahead and do that. So if we include a fifth column of zeros, we now have the augmented matrix for the vector equation in row echelon form. Now we could continue and write the matrix in reduced row echelon form, but we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. Notice how we have pivots in row one, column one, row two, column two, and row three, column three, which indicates x sub one, x sub two, and x sub three are basic variables. And because the fourth column doesn't have a pivot, x sub four is a free variable. And now let's write the equations that correspond to each row. The first row indicates that negative four x sub one minus two x sub four equals zero. The second row indicates that negative three x sub two plus two x sub four equals zero. The third row indicates that negative two x sub three minus four x sub four equals zero. Again, x sub four is a free variable. We let x sub four equal x sub four. From here, because x sub four is the free variable, we need to write x sub one, x sub two, and x sub three in terms of x sub four. Solving the first equation for x sub one, we add two x sub four to both sides and then divide by negative four, which gives us x sub one is equal to negative one half x sub four. In the second equation, solving for x sub two, we would subtract two x sub four on both sides and then divide both sides by negative three, which gives us x sub two equals positive two thirds x sub four. To solve the third equation for x sub three, we would add four x sub four to both sides and then divide both sides by negative two, which gives us x sub three is equal to negative two x sub four and we still have x sub four is equal to x sub four. Let's prioritize the solution by letting x sub four equal t. If x sub four is equal to t, x sub one is equal to negative one half t. x sub two is equal to two thirds t. x sub three is equal to negative two t and x sub four is equal to t. Which means the solution to the equation a times vector x equals zero is vector x is equal to the vector with the components x sub one through x sub four, where again x sub one is equal to negative one half t, x sub two is equal to two thirds t, x sub three is equal to negative two t, and x sub four is equal to t. And now we factor out the t, giving us vector x is equal to t times the vector negative one half, two thirds, negative two, one. The solutions to the equation a times vector x equals a zero vector are all the vectors x where x is equal to t, where t is any real number, times the vector negative one half, two thirds, negative two, one, and since the vectors in the spanning set of the solution form a basis for the null space of A, the vector negative one half two thirds negative two one is a basis for the null space of A. I hope you found this helpful.